Guys, welcome back to another Warzone video. Today's gonna be a banger. We get betrayed and we end up spectating a toddler. It's the most interesting you will probably ever see, at, at least in Warzone. Got ambushed, bro? Oh, here, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let you kill me. If you got ambushed, I'm gonna let you kill me. Come here. I'm serious. No, I'm serious. Come execute me. Come stab me in the back. I will cheat. I won't shoot you if you don't shoot me. Come stab me in the back. I want you to execute me. I'm staring at the wall right now. I'm staring at the blue wall in the middle. Just come stab me right in the back and execute me. You shot me, bro. What the hell? You lied. All right, right now we've got Joe Mama, who is a child under the age of 12. I tried to let him kill me in the gulag and he... Oh, I told him to execute me and he got scared and shot me instead. Rude. He lied to me too. He said, I'm not going to shoot you. And he did. Kids these days, bro. Parents do better. There he is melee in the window because he knows he's a liar and he feels disappointed with himself. Okay, go up the wrong side of the ladder. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a blast. Now, look, this is this video. I want everyone who is older than me. People always message, Savage, I'm so old, bro. It's hard for me. My reaction time is slow. Just realize these guys should be your victims. They should be receiving all the animosity you have to shoot up the tip of your barrel. Look at this. Instantly to a corner. So right now, uh, I mean, pretty, I say it's pretty obvious. Now look, when I do these videos, bro, it's so hard for me to like say everything because most of this is common sense. But then I spectate players like this. I'm like, maybe it's not that common. Right now, what do we do? Got to get money. We got a homie to get back. We need to loot. If you're playing like this, again, balance risk versus reward. Is it risky running around getting loot? Absolutely. It's risky. But you know what? I'd rather sprint around looking for loot and maybe get clapped in the face. I'd rather do that than crouch walking and, and bot running in the middle by the buy station, going in circles and almost be guaranteed to get my cheeks clapped. I never understand why people just play this slow. You will, you're guaranteed to lose the game. You might get lucky here and there, but you're guaranteed to lose 99.9% of the time. If you actually start getting a little momentum and you move around, you might, I don't know, accidentally learn the building layouts, accidentally run into a team you can possibly kill. I mean, how many people watch right now are like, I'm way better than Joe Mama? Raise your hand. Damn right. So these are the guys a lot of you guys are crouch walking away from and hiding from and freezing to fight. Now, I don't know what the average player base age is in this game. I know it's like infamature, but that doesn't mean shit. Kids still play this game. I played this game as a kid. Who the fuck are we fooling? So again, say, say, bro, just get out there, grab your cojones and go slap some cheeks, man. We all start here. It's just on every one of us to get out of here. It's on us at this point. If, if you're in this this type of play style, if you're looking at this like, damn, Savage, don't be too mean, man. This is me. Savage, I'll play like that. You start running around. The reason a lot of people get stick drift is because they push in that fucking L3 so damn much. Push that shit in, bro. Break the fuck out of it. Got to. Also, auto attack sprint's a man's best friend, bro. You think a dog is? Fuck that dog. Auto attack sprint, bro. I'm telling you right now. Equipped it. It's amazing. Because look, every like small thing, whether it's sprinting, clearing corners, looting, those are probably your three smallest, most basic things you should be doing in a game. If you're, if you're momentum for doing that is like this, you're, meaning you're not snappy with it, you're not quick with it, you're not... You're not bada bing bada boom in and out. What makes you think in the middle of a gunfight you're gonna be able to snap on anything or be able to decide what the hell's going on? Or you see you if you go up that identifies people in front of you, but you see someone else up someone else at another angle shooting at you, and how are you gonna how are you gonna break that down in your head, lickety fucking split to adapt and fight that situation out? You're not going to. Again, the whole reason why when this game came out those first four months, we were putting out these easy videos, the basic videos like get better aim, push your fights, go for hot drops, things like that. It's to get people's minds working like a, like a hamster in a rabbit wheel, whatever the hell it's called. But unfortunately, people have been playing like this since day one. We're now almost eight months into Warzone 2. 
over three years into Warzone as a whole, and we still have people playing like this. I don't tell you guys to push fights and hot drop and do all this stuff to win games. You can definitely do that, but I tell you guys that, or told you guys that at the beginning so that you got better at making decisions, got better at looting under pressure, got better at making decisions under pressure, got better at rotating, got better at accuracy, aim, you know, uh, movement. Fucking just simple why why. And I sit here as a former COD player that used to play like this. When the first original Call of Duties came out, we all basically played like this. But as COD players evolve, they unfortunately evolve faster than I did. And I was held back. I was one of kind of not this bad, but I was one of these guys that all my friends were excelling above me. And I was just not because I was, you know, playing positions. I was holding like lanes and stuff back in the uh, TDM and domination days when they were running around in spawns with SMGs and just getting all aggressive. They became better players because they got in way more fights than I did. I just kind of sat there waiting for enemies to come to me and then I drop a nuke. But that wasn't really skill based. That was just sitting still. Was I a better player for that? Fuck no. But again, once I realized, well, shit, the more I run around, the more I push fights, the more fights I get in, the better I become. It's the weirdest shit. If look, there's an enemy right there. Okay, he saw it. He's 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 observant. Wrong gun, brother. We, first off, this gun sucks ass. Secondly, eh, this one's not much better. I think this range is way too close for your sniping ability, homie. So look, we're in a spot, we're in a bad place. We have no idea where the enemy is. We lost him, it's time to reposition. If we are gonna utilize a sniper rifle, we need to get out of here. Cause if he, he's pushing our right hand side, I hear him. Cause if he pushes us, we're gonna get fucking, he might be on, he's on top of us now. We're gonna get completely beamed. One, because this gun is complete dog shit no matter what range it is. Fuck me. Try it, fuck you, bro. Look, why did he die? Again, going back to my minimum, if it takes you too long to loot, too long to buy, you're gonna die. Bars. He was in that buy station for way too long. That was an easy click, click, buy your teammate back. Two clicks and then escape, back out. That's it. Should have been out, in and out. So we lost $6,000. Our teammate wasn't there to help us anyway. Not that he might've been much help. This is just embarrassing. Also, going back to saying, you know, stop crotch walking, stop playing slow, start running around. Remember how I said they were guaranteed to die? One of the reasons why I said that was because if you sit around a buy station for a stupid amount of time, seven minutes, another team is gonna come there and clap those motherfucking cheeks. Now, before anyone in here is saying bot lobby, duh, most lobbies are bot lobbies. But ask yourself, are these your lobbies? I really encourage you guys to die and spectate your own lobby just once, just to see what kind of players you're actually scared of. Because when I tell people, most people play like this, everyone's like, Savage, no they don't. My lobbies are filled with, Shh. Stop, stop it right now. Stop it right now. The only players that really should be intimidating anybody are like diamond players and above. And that's a very small percentage of players. If you guys think your lobbies are, are purely just 100% players that are sweaty, I want you to spectate your lobby and send me that fucking video. Cause I promise you right now, my lobbies are hella sweaty. And this is what we get still. And again, I say all that to say, stop being afraid of fighting people because these are the guys you're afraid of fighting. Right here. What's he shooting at? He's shooting at his teammate, man. He's trying to say, get off my, my loot. I killed him. Now look, you need to learn, you need to learn from other players' mistakes. You need to learn from your own mistakes, your teammates' mistakes, but especially the guys you kill. Why did Trademark kill him? Trademark had the high ground. The enemy wasn't paying attention. The enemy was laying prone on a ledge. He's laying prone on a ledge across from us, watching below him. Now, we're laying on the edge, watching below. Strangely enough, there's high ground around us still. Even though we're on a tower, we have Zaza. We have all Shareem. Fuck, even the low ground has an angle on us. So we can literally have the same fate on the guy we just put 
What kind of bullet do you think this is? A 50 cal in two. I think it's 50. I really don't know. So he should he should have learned he should, when he got that kill, he should be like, damn, you're stupid for that. And he should not be doing this. If you kill a guy crouch walking, you need to analyze. Wow, that was fucking dumb. Let me not do this. And look, I'm being harsh out of love, out of hope. I want these guys to be better. And again, dude, we've all played like this at some form or point in time in our gaming life, whether it was this game or a different one. We all play like a bot at some point, especially in the beginning. But most gamers are not new gamers anymore. Maybe three years ago when Wars in One came out, brought a lot of people over. But now, dude, most people have a bunch of years under their belt. There's really no excuse for this. One, look at the position. Where's the circle diving to? Past Zaza. Right, we need to get past observatory almost instantly. We need to rotate. Gas coming in now. It's going to come in pretty slow, but nonetheless, we need to get out of this area. I know by the way these guys are playing, they're just going to move to the next building that's in the zone. Why is that bad? You might be thinking to yourself, Savage, it's still in the zone. That's cute, but the next zone will not favor Akdar Village, and we're going to have to move to or through observatory. Meaning, people that are doing what we're doing, I guess, gatekeeping, that's not really what they're doing, but whatever. If there are people gatekeeping uh, Zaza, these, this team will fucking die. Also, a lot of people are like, I can never find enemies. It's probably because you're doing this. It's probably literally because you're doing this. Respect? They ain't playing for respect. Yeah, and the 3x on the sniper rifle too is questionable for this type of gameplay. I mean, this whole gameplay is questionable, but but if you're gonna do this, have a sniper scope, my guy. Look, my I'm a sniper main and I just use a normal sniper scope. I don't care about glint. I don't care about range fine. I don't care about any of that. Normal sniper scope is all you need. It's like that in Warzone 1. It's like that now. You can use what you want. Use what you want. Your heart's content, but... Right going for the right fight, in my opinion, dude. Snipers are meant for, you know, long range. You're going to need some long range. If you're using the 3X, you're not going to be able to hit much. Now, a lot of people equip these 3Xs because their favorite streamer, favorite YouTuber, maybe even they've got a homie that can use it. And remember, players that can hit shots with the 3X from here to Zaza, they're just better. Like I say, dude, just because X, Y, and Z use a certain sensitivity... Or they use a certain controller. Or they got a certain this and that. And, they, and, and you're like, I want to be good like them. You got to realize every pro has different weapons, have different attachments that they like to use. They all have different sensitivities. You can't just copy one and think it's instantly going to be the secret to your sauce. It's not. Finding your sense is crucial, but your sense will not be like anyone else's. Got a double buy, meaning he's solo, meaning we're in a 2v1 right now, meaning go stack him. But trademark doesn't even look at the buy. It wasn't us because Inglewood's on top, and again, it was a double buy. And we don't have any teammate. No rocket launchers for close range fights. That's right. People flying in right now, and again, we need to be worried that they're going to be pinging us. I told you guys what they would do. Did I call it? You can tell by the way they play. They're going to play the edge till they have to rotate to Zaza and then they're going to fucking die. And and this is why I'm so harsh and this is why like I push players to get in fights. When you guys can get comfortable fighting and you guys get that confidence. You, you'll stop playing like this. It's just crazy to me because these guys play and if i could look at their stats i guarantee you they have less than 10 wins period which is not hating but when you play like this you will not win games you will not do good you will not get kills you will not be better you will not improve granted i will say i gotta i gotta be proud of the call of duty community i don't witness this this much that this is bad this is like some warzone one verdance type vibes But if you guys do want to use the device that pros are using that is going to be better for you guys, check out AIM Controllers today. Use code SAV to check out for 10% off. And when you build their Billy Badass controller, that could be a massive savings. Also, the PS5 controllers come with digital controllers 
standard and it is savage huge game changer everybody so again check out links in the description below check it out build your controller put your logo on it put your face on it do whatever you want and you just go savage check out savage you said Okay, let's talk about when to fight, when not to fight. First off, the TTK change, this gun is dog shit. Don't at me, it's ass. Put it away. Complete dog shit. We're in a fire now being pushed. Why are we climbing a ladder? Even if you don't have audio, I have audio, but even if you don't, bro, your teammates got shot. They got shot from that direction. Again, simple geometry, right? If your teammate, we're gonna call him A, get shot from B and you're in between and you have to climb up a ladder, B's probably gonna fuck you up. So stop doing that. Oh, now you're getting stacked. Look at the stack, look at the corner. Look at the stack. Look at the wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, he, he got a little aggressive with it. Whoa, whoa! That, that accuracy though, what the fuck? There you go, play the door. All right, all right. Now his goal is to try to pick these guys one at a time. This is why playing and rotating and jumping out of windows and trying to separate the enemies is so crucial. When you sit in here, we're lucky they haven't just stacked us. Why I like jumping out of windows and jumping down and climbing up and doing all this crazy shit like I'm a fucking chihuahua on cocaine is because again, it has a huge chance to separate the enemy squad. There's one guy right there. I would jump on him because he is by himself. Doesn't matter, he comes right to us. He is cracked, be aggressive. We're wasting a lot of bullets though. Also, when you waste ammo, it, stop, it, it, it basically puts a blanket between you and aggression. If you got eight bullets, now you can't be aggressive. Now you gotta hold off. There's a guy, come on, man! Open your eyes! Killing me, Smalls. Now, this is why TTK change is good. And, and Vondell, I didn't feel it at all because you're getting shot by 900 people. But in this map here, oh my God, it feels so much better. Respect the ego, chow. Normally I'd say if you're that damaged, don't do it. But because there was so much close in proximity, you just had to. It was a 50-50 shot whether you win or lose. And if he would have pushed us, we had our back turn. He would have clapped our fucking cheeks. Get that muni. Fuck that muni. All right. Good job. Just analyzing tracers. You might want to. You might want to save your teammate sooner than that. Oh no. Stay, look, bro. Three things wrong with that. One, the moment his teammate went down, he analyzed the enemy was that direction. Instead of just laying prone, staring at him, he should have just challenged him. It's unfortunate he didn't reload his gun before he pushed up there, but it was what it was. Snowball effect of bad decisions. Secondly, instead of rotating downwards, play the high ground. Why are you rotating down towards the lake? Play all the trees in front of us. Play that ridge. Play the high ground. Make an effort. Now look, his sensitivity is real crazy. He might, it might be good for him, so I'm not gonna shit on him just yet. But we had a video put out the other day where I was talking about sensitivity. A lot of people are using high sense because their their homies are doing it, their favorite players are doing it. And when they're sitting there turning, they can't see a damn thing. It's just their eyes can't register as fast as the screen is moving. And if that's the case for you, turn your shit down. It's all cool if you're looking like Joe Woe, but if you're not seeing the enemies, you're not shooting the enemies, turn that shit down because you're not. Moving here. Two teams fighting up top. Now look, we're gonna need to get it position. Don't shoot them. Don't shoot at them just because. You wanna get position. Now this right here, I'll be honest, I probably would've died too. I didn't think he was there. I didn't know he was there. That motherfucker's just laying in a bush, I'm sure. And he got double killed because of it. That was just unfortunate. And again, he got two kills doing this. And it's going to reinforce his play style on his head. But at the end of the day, if he runs into players that are even a little bit competent, meaning they have eyeballs and thumbs, he's going to get fucking demolished. 
he got lucky getting two of his four kills shooting two enemies in the back skill hell no luck 100 percent this dude's out here pretending like he's actually in Iraq right now. Actually, probably not Iraq. I don't think he was prone crawling through the freaking desert, but Vietnam. We've got three enemy teams, two fighting above us. So that makes me think there's one team in this. There they are right there. You just saw them jump over the tarps. Now one team above our right, That those guys to our left. I wouldn't really be watching that. Wait for them to jump down. Oh, and this is why. You don't prone crawl. If you're by yourself and you're prone crawling, you're not fighting, you're just trying to, I'm gonna play safe. You run the risk of running into a 1v3, a 1v4, a 1v2. And then guess what? If you're prone crawling, you're probably not good enough. No hate. Most people can't do it to take on a 1v4 or 1v3 and things like that. So if you're not capable of taking on a 1v2, 1v3, 1v4, you need to try your best to pick off all the enemy teams. Granted, the position he was in was terrible. Should have got the high ground. He should have rotated towards the target. Should have done something else but be in the middle of the street. But um, he didn't. He should have. He could have. He would have. But he didn't. And for that, he fucking died.